The St. Francis Dam was a concrete gravity arch dam in Los Angeles County, California, that failed catastrophically on the evening of March 12, 1928, resulting in the deaths of over 400 people. The dam was designed and built by William Mulholland, the chief engineer of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, and was completed in 1926 to provide water to the city of Los Angeles and its growing population. The failure of the St. Francis Dam was caused by several factors, including poor design, faulty construction, and inadequate maintenance. The dam was built on a foundation of unstable geologic materials, which caused it to settle and crack over time. St. Francis Dam's construction was rushed, and corners were cut to save time and money. Inadequate maintenance also played a role, as the dam's spillway was clogged with debris and sediment, preventing water from flowing through it and causing the dam to overtop. The St. Francis Dam was approximately 185 feet high and had a capacity of 38,046.8 million cubic meters of water. It was located in San Francisco Quito Canyon, about 64 kilometers northwest of Los Angeles, and was designed to provide water to the growing population of the city. The St. Francis Dam was constructed using concrete and was considered a state-of-the-art engineering feat when it was completed in 1926. However, its failure just two years later highlighted significant flaws in its design and construction. The construction cost of St. Francis Dam was approximately $1.5 million USD, which was considered a relatively low cost at the time, given the size and complexity of the project. William Mulholland, the chief engineer of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, was known for his ability to build large-scale infrastructure projects on tight budgets, and the St. Francis Dam was no exception. However, cost-cutting measures such as the use of inferior materials and the lack of proper geological studies of the dam site may have contributed to the failure of the dam. The failure of the St. Francis Dam remains one of the worst engineering disasters in U.S. history, and it led to significant changes in dam design and construction practices. In the aftermath of the disaster, there were significant costs associated with the cleanup and rebuilding efforts, as well as lawsuits filed against the city of Los Angeles. The total cost of the disaster, including the loss of life and property damage, was estimated to be around 20 million US dollars, which was a significant amount at the time. The St. Francis Dam was not reconstructed after its failure in 1928. The dam was considered a total loss, and the decision was made not to rebuild it. Instead, the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power focused on building other dams in the region, such as the Hoover Dam and the Parker Dam. Today, the site of the St. Francis Dam is a California historical landmark, and a memorial has been erected to honor the victims of the disaster. The memorial, located near the former site of the dam, includes a flagpole, a plaque with the names of those who lost their lives, and a small museum with exhibits about the disaster. The failure of the St. Francis Dam had a significant impact on dam safety practices and engineering design, leading to the development of more rigorous standards and regulations for dam construction and maintenance. Now, engineers and geologists use the lessons learned from the failure of the St. Francis Dam to design and build safer dams around the world. Thanks for watching.